up flavor squad it's your girl fashionista here to give you all the flavor if you are new here make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe if you are not new here i thank you so much for coming back to my channel today we're going to be making a two color lace up sweatshirt these are the materials that you will need first going to start off by removing the waistband from the sweatshirt to remove this waistband, you just want to slit it in half and cut across the top of the band. You can use a seam ripper, but the seam ripper just takes much more time and you actually don't have to save that stitching, so it's okay to just cut across the top. I'm showing you again how I started off cutting my waistband off. You want to just repeat this for your second sweatshirt as well. Once you're done, you should have two separate waistbands, a black and a white. Now we're going to crease our sweatshirt by folding the sweatshirt shoulder to shoulder we want to just make a middle line so we'll know where to cut so i'm going to use my heat press to press out a line in the middle and you'll do this for both sweatshirts as you can see it gave me a very precise line in the center of the sweatshirt so that's where we'll cut i'm going to just repeat this same step for the black sweatshirt and then we'll get to cutting them in half once you're all done pressing your sweatshirts and getting your center line, this is what it should look like. Now we're just going to use a ruler so that we can precisely cut in the center of the sweatshirt. I'm going to simply lay my ruler out and use my rotary cutter to cut a straight line down. You can also do this with scissors, but I'm not very good with cutting straight lines with scissors, so I try to use the rotary cutter. And you want to just repeat this same step for your black sweatshirt once you have your two halves we're going to open up both sides of the sweatshirt to pin our shirt together for sewing we're going to just pinch it in in the middle about an inch all the way up to the neckline and once we have it pinched where we like, we're just going to pin straight along that middle line and that's where we'll sew. Now that we're all done pinning, we're going to sew straight down. With the zigzag stitch, always remember to begin and end with a back stitch so that your stitching doesn't become undone. Once you're all done sewing, this is what it should look like. And we're going to actually cut off that excess fabric above the seam. Make sure to not cut your seam. That's what I'm about to do here. Now that that's done, you want to lay your sweatshirt out and measure how long you want it to be. This is all of, up to you. This is personal preference. 
I didn't want mine too short. I wanted to come about waist length. So I measured about 18 inches down. And you want to just draw a straight line across so that you can cut it, cut off the excess at the bottom. Now that you have the excess cut off, it's time to measure out how much of that waistband you actually need. So for the white side of the waistband, I'm just measuring out how much of that I actually need. I put it up to the sweatshirt, folded it over twice, and that's how much I'm going to actually use. You have to remember that we took this waistband from a full sweatshirt and we only need half of everything. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'm also going to repeat this step for the black side. Once you figure out how much you actually need, you can mark it and cut it, or you can do like I did, eyeball it and cut it. Now I'm gonna repeat the same exact steps for the black side, just measuring out how much I actually need, folding it over and cutting it. Now that we have both waistbands cut to the appropriate size that we need, we're going to put them together right side to right side and we're going to simply sew them right on the seam together. You can pin this or if you're a natural, you can just sew straight down. I'm going to pin it for sake of the video. Once you have them pinned together, you'll just sew straight across here with the zigzag stitch. Now that it's sewn together, the only next step is to attach your waistband. And you want to make sure that the right side is to the right side of the sweatshirt. So basically tuck it under and pin. Just how you see it right there on the corner, it's tucked under. You don't want to have it out because that probably means that you're pinning it wrong. It's super easy. Just pin all the way around. Connect the white to the white, connect the black to the back, and pin it. It's not hard, I promise. It may look difficult, but it's not hard. Now that we have it pinned, we're going to take it to the sewing machine and sew all the way around, just attaching the waistband to the sweatshirt. When you're sewing, you want to have just a little stretch, not too much, but just to make sure that everything is laying flat, just pull on it a little while you're sewing. Our next step is to hem the sides of the sweatshirt where we will be creating the holes for the lacing. You want to just fold the sides of your sweatshirt in about an inch or an inch and a half. This is also personal preference because if you want a wider eyelet the areas should be wider but my eyelids are super small so i'm only going to fold in about an inch or an inch and a half and then we're going to sew these down Once you're done pinning, this is what you should have. And we're just going to sew along the edge of this so that we can enclose that area. You want to sew right along this area here at the end of your penny. When it's done, this is what you should have. Now I'm just going to take my sweatshirt to my heat press. You can use an iron. You don't need a heat press. I'm just going to take my sweater to my heat press to press out all the seams and make them as flat as possible. 
Now we are done reconstructing the sweatshirt. Now it's just time to make the holes for the eyelets, put the eyelets in and lace this sweatshirt up. So to make the holes, I just did holes that are one inch apart all the way down. I think I had about nine holes in all. And I just did that for the black side and the white side. You wanna do nine holes, really personal preference, depends on how long yours is, all the way down one inch apart. This is what you see me doing. I'm just measuring out my holes using the ruler. Next, you're gonna use the eyelid tool to punch holes where you marked all the way down the side. Once you have your holes punched out, you can now insert the eyelets. If you guys want a detailed video on how to attach eyelets, let me know down in the comment section below. But if you have an eyelet tool, just use that to attach the eyelets. Last but not least, we're all done. You wanna just lace up your sweatshirt. You can make this as tight or as loose as you would like. Okay, Flavor Squad, this is how this sweatshirt came out. I think this is really cute. Like, this is really cute. It's actually cute with the pants I got on, but I don't know. I'm gonna try to show y'all the pants. <laughs> it's cute with the pants I got on, but I don't know. I would probably style it with something different. I think I, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it, and I'm gonna try to style it later on, you know, when it gets a little chilly. Because y'all know it's almost fall now. Here go the back. This is how the back looks. This is really cute. I really wanted to do some fall colors, but listen, I couldn't find the sweatshirts I like, the colors I wanted to do. So I just did a simple black and white. This was really easy to do. It was a lot of steps, but it was easy at the same time. Cause you're kind of having to reconstruct the whole sweatshirt and then do this part like this once you get to this part it's really simple and it goes by a click so let me know what you guys think below let me know if you guys like this sweatshirt would you actually wear this let me know down in the comment section below make sure you like this video comment down below hashtag flavor squad mm. Make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to hit your notification bell and turn on all. When you hit the bell, you gotta click all or you're not gonna get the notifications until like hours later or days later. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. May your curls pop in your grind. Never stop, Flavor Squad. I'm out of here.